We want to congratulate you because of everything that you, you did in the skies. We're going to be celebrating you literally on the ground at Canada's Walk of Fame. That's right. I've been inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. The ceremony is the 1st of December. That's going to be a lot of fun. To the moon and back, literally. And now his very own star on Canada's Walk of Fame. That is reaffirming Chris Hadfield is one of our country's most beloved. Nobody ever sets out to be a hero, but it's wonderful if you can inspire other people to be somebody that otherwise they never would have. I have always tried to choose things that push me to my limit and then try and get as good at them as I possibly could and do them as well as I could and then move on to the next thing. Mechanical engineer, military fighter pilot, astronaut, professor, public speaker, author, musician, TV host. Wearing many, many hats, Chris is a true career chameleon. Is there one role in particular that makes you the most proud? I'm the parent of three incredibly capable people and all of them are succeeding. I'm immensely proud of my children and my granddaughter and I'm lucky to be able to say that. Chris Hadfield might have had a few stints in space, but he really is as grounded as they come. Do you remember that moment where the dream became a plan? I used to sit on the grass there on, those, on the shores of Lake Ontario and watch people do things with airplanes that, that seemed like magic. But I realized that those people had just changed who they were to be able to take a human invention and do something otherwise impossible. And I was inspired by what Canadians did, what American astronauts did, and incredibly enough, it led to me commanding a spaceship on behalf of our country. The first Canadian to walk in space and serving as commander of the International Space Station, it's no wonder Chris even leaves his fellow inductees speechless. We actually had the privilege of meeting Commander Hadfield earlier this year. I was shaking, I was so nervous, my heart was beating. There was something so unique about the way he entered the room and it, the temperature changed. Yes, many Canadians are in awe of the commander, but there's one inductee who's left a lifelong impression on him. Anyone that you would like to have your star next to? This year we're honoring Leonard Cohen, who should have been in it a long time ago. And Leonard's ability to take a complex thought and turn it into a set of provocative lyrics that continue to inspire even now after he's gone, that takes genius. I guess if I could be next to anybody, I'd be happy to be anywhere near where Leonard's star is on the ground.